Hello, I am in Kent visiting my family that lives down here and as well as spending some quality time with the family of course my main reason for being here is to photograph short-eared owls I'm just on my way to the location now Oh, I tell you what, if it stays like this, we could be in for pretty much perfect conditions for owls today. I'm going to be positioning myself with the sun behind me and where I'm going to be is a marshland with raised sides. So I'm currently walking on the, on the raised bit now. I'll be hunkering down just below the top of that. So. So the plan is to be pretty much eye level with the owls if and when they end up hunting. What I'm going to do is get settled in, get camouflaged up and then show you what I can see. It may be a bit light in terms of video footage of the owls because my main aim is to get as many photos as possible really to, to bulk up my portfolio. I'm going to stop waffling on, I'm going to get into position and I'll see you there. Here's my lovely camouflage. It's not the best camouflage in the world. I could have done a more thorough job, but it will do. It's only 2pm and we've already had two separate owls hunting over the marshes here. They were on the other side of the marshes, which tends to always be the way with, with wildlife. Never where you want them to be. But uh, it's very early days, so it's a very, it's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Not using a tripod. When it's birds in flight, I much prefer to handhold. I just find it much easier to be able to find the bird in the in the viewfinder. But for now, we wait and observe. I'll try and get you some video. I'll try. What I really need is an attachment for my camera hot shoe, so I can stick my GoPro on top of that. That was probably going to be my next purchase. I think that might be it, unfortunately. Whilst we have had very active owls, they've been active very far away from me uh, that's just the way these things go you pick a spot that you think everything's right the light's perfect the conditions are perfect sometimes things just don't work out and that's why wildlife photography requires quite a lot of persistence because a lot of the times you're gonna come back with stuff that you're not that happy with but it just makes it so much better when everything works out um, I came here a few days ago, my first night here, absolutely nothing showed up and I was just stuck in terrible light in very, very windy conditions. Then the day after, it was the best session I've ever had with short eared owls. Um, oh, no, it was, yeah, by far and away the best session I've ever had with the short eared owls. Today, I mean, it was absolutely stunning to see but no photos to speak of. But yes, hopefully I'm gonna come back tomorrow night. But for now, I'm gonna show you a selection of the photos that I got from my previous session. I hope you enjoy. Probably the best photos I've ever got of shorted owls. It really was. There was a period where the owls were exactly where I wanted them to be. The sun was shining. Oh, it was amazing. And you'll probably have noticed that I'm now walking in pretty much 
exactly the same area as yesterday and that's because I'm out for one more go one more go at these owls I'm gonna do something that might end up being very stupid and due to the fact that yesterday the owls didn't come close enough for me to get any good photos I'm gonna move a bit and I can almost guarantee you that now that I've decided to move where I'm gonna be gonna be stationed to photograph them the owls are gonna decide to go where I was yesterday but hey ho because I've already got those photos I feel like I'm happy to take risks I'm not sure I'm not sure we're gonna get very good light today but we'll see right I'm gonna get into position right, well we've got about an hour's worth of light left still no hours but in a period of very nice light I had a quite a close marsh area fly by and I got some lovely shots they're not frame filling by any means but very pleased I'll show you those now oh and we've had a a huge flock of Brent geese fly over I think they're Brent geese I'm not great with my geese but maybe I'll show you that now and any birders that are watching can let me know also it's fair to say whilst I've been in this location quite a lot and seemingly failed quite a lot with getting owl shots it's just been very very nice just to sit here I'm fairly camouflaged so whilst normally birds will fly over see you then sort of change direction they're not seeing me so I'm getting loads of flybys loads of flyovers um, particularly cormorants which are one of my favorite birds so what I'll probably do at this point is just stick in a few shots that I've taken not of anything particularly specific just anything that's flying by enjoy There we go. That's the end of my trip to photograph short-eared owls in Kent. And unfortunately, I only got short-eared owls one night out of the four. Nothing again this evening. I'm choosing to believe that they haven't come out at all yet today, rather than the much worse option that they were flying and hunting in the same area that I was stationed yesterday. Oh, here we go. You see that? Brent geese flying off. Pretty sure they're Brent geese. But. My only regret is that I wasn't vlogging at the time, but it sort of meant I could completely focus on the spectacle that is the short-eared owls hunting around. It really is amazing. But to be honest, even though I've only managed to take photos one out of the four nights that I was out, it's just been really nice. The weather's been pretty kind. The different types of bird life I'm, I'm near the coast here and the wildlife and bird life here is very different to the stuff that I get in Leicestershire so yeah it's just been it's just been very enjoyable for this adventure I shall leave it here thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one cheers <laughs>